go into record mode. There we are. Okay. Hello, everybody. And welcome to our Monday night team call. Um, I am so excited about tonight because what you know, those of you who have been around me long enough, <laughs> nothing excites me more than team, right? It is my absolute favorite part of this business. I feel like we truly are so blessed to be able to work alongside just some pretty amazing people and that I think there's something so unique and um, empowering about being able to create a work environment because you chose to invite somebody into it, right? That doesn't happen in most places. And so that is one of the most beautiful things about network marketing and particularly about our business and our culture. So tonight we're going to do a little bit of workshoppy stuff and behind the scenes, we've been having lots of conversations about team and growth and leadership and all that kind of stuff. So this falls right in line with all of it. But tonight, we're all going to take a little look at ourselves, which I honestly don't think we do that enough, um, you know, in a group setting, like it, when it pertains, as it pertains to team, right? We did a little bit of it at Seal Ranch for those of you who were there. But I feel like bringing that home, this is a kind of an important step, okay? So play along with me if you would. Um, there's nothing scary about this exercise at all. It's just you and yourself and your notepad. And, you know, and I really want to encourage you guys to, to be brave leaders, to step up into this conversation because I'm not going to call anybody out. I'm just going to ask for volunteers and feedback, but it'd be so awesome if everybody got a chance to share and move along, okay? So I've got three questions for you tonight that we're going to spend some time thinking about some of these things for the processors in the room, it may come to you at a later time, and that's okay too, but I do want to still encourage you to bring it to the chat. You know, I want to encourage you to bring it to your upline or to your sideline or whatever, somebody in this room that and consider the room the, the team, right? Um, so the first question I really wanted us to do is to take an inventory of our strengths, our personal strengths, because a lot of times we come to this experience and we've had years of experience in doing something else, right? That just either never gets mentioned or never gets utilized or, you know, is, is not really tapped into so much. But I think it's, I learned some really interesting things about some people in my co-op just this last week. And I thought I need to do this with my team because I bet you we're sitting on a whole stockpile of amazing skills and talents and experience that we're not even talking about, right? So I want to really start the call with just bringing to the table some of the things that, that allow you to shine. So I'm going to read the question as I wrote it, okay? I'd like everyone to take a moment and to think about what your own individual strengths are. What are the skills that come easily to you? What are the things that you enjoy doing or areas that you have established success that bring you joy? Jot these things down. Can you repeat that, Melissa, please? Absolutely. Um, what are the skills that come easily to you? The things, and think skills as like attributes too. Like some of us have attributes, right? Um, what are the attributes that come easily to you and that bring you joy? What are some areas that you've established success that also bring you joy? So things that fill you up, right? That you know that you're good at, you have an aptitude in. That's what we're, we're talking about today. Barking. Hold on. Let me give it 30 more seconds here. All 
All right, question number two. What are some, now that you've got those written down, what are some areas that you'd like to improve upon? Areas that you'd benefit from some coaching or more opportunity for practice? So are there areas in your world, as it relates to your business, try to think of mostly, but that you'd like to improve upon or areas that you'd benefit from some coaching or more opportunity for practice? About one more minute for this one. And if you're coming late to the call, we're just doing a little workshoppy thing tonight. So just jot down some thoughts around the questions I'm asking. Okay. And then the third question here, is there an area or a task that maybe you do very well, but you don't really appreciate, or you would really appreciate a break from. <laughs> something that you'd like to pass along to another team member. So maybe there's a responsibility or something that you feel like you do a lot as it pertains to a team role that you'd like to pass on to somebody else. Or just take a pause from. And this may or may not apply to you. Now, now comes the fun part. <laughs> All right, so um, in the beginning of the call, I had mentioned to everybody, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but I'm gonna really encourage you guys to participate. This is a safe space. This is a place where you get to grow. And usually it's in the growth of being vulnerable, uh, sharing your thoughts and your feelings, and that's how we're gonna work through this together tonight, okay? So the first thing, I would really love for everybody to share all their strengths. So like if you can go around, this is a really good you know, challenge for you because it's challenging sometimes to kind of toot your own horn a little bit, right? But it's really, really important as a leader that you understand where your strengths lie, okay? So, um, so who wants to go first? Greta, good for you. Okay, you gotta unmute, there you go. Okay, so I don't know if I did this in in the right way, but it, it was just the first thing that popped into my head and I don't know if it's related or not, but um, more thinking of the things that bring me joy than anything else. And that's photography and creating social media posts and humor, making other people laugh, that kind of thing. Um, but most, just like creating, I like to be creative. Okay, I have a really great job for you. <laughs> See why we're doing this? <laughs> but Austin, we're gonna need a photographer in Austin to really, to seriously, to take, I, that's the one area of my week, I just never remember. So I hope we're gonna see you there so we can have you jump right into your strength area, which would be amazing. I'm working on that. But see how you could use that in the group setting? That's my point, right? So like we could take that, that amazing skill of yours, apply it to a team experience, utilize it on social media to help our businesses grow. Right? See that? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So cool. 
Love that. Thank you, Greta. Thank you for sharing. Okay, who's next? Marie. So um, this is not a strength, but <laughs> I have trouble thinking outside the box. So when you were asking these questions, I'm only thinking about our business. I'm not thinking about anything else. That's okay. That's all right. So um, what skills come easily to me? I mean, I, I like talking to people. I don't, you know, have trouble starting a conversation or I just, I, I feel very at ease around people. Um, and like Greta, making people laugh. I love to laugh. You know me, I like to have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, what, what are some areas that I've had success that bring me joy? And you know this, that helpers high, which I've experienced this year for the first time, and it feels amazing mm -hmm. helping others you know, achieve that next level, that next level, that is just, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's better when you do it for them than for yourself, right? I get it. I finally get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. And see Marie, again, other, like, these are some things like, so anytime we do anything anywhere, like you need to be involved in the fun planning part because like, that's where you shine. You do truly shine in that space. And so you bring so much joy and you have so much like Catherine, you know, noted when we were in, um, in Texas, like that, it's a strength area where a lot of people, like I, <laughs> I mean, I think I'm kind of fun, but like <laughs> I go, I go into work mode and I could stay there for a really long time. And like, it's very rare for me to like pull back out and go, Oh, it's the weekend. I have to like, like my mom is good at like recreating. I like to say, you know, like I don't I, like for me to actually stop and plan time to go shopping, like for fun. Yeah. It, it hasn't, it hasn't happened in three years, Marie, three. I mean, like, I mean, I'm telling you, like, it's so, so that's a really great strength area. When I was still, utilize. when I was still working in corporate, um, one of the, one of my teammates that worked on my team was just, he was very envious because I took vacation all the time. I was always going somewhere and he's like, I want to be more like you. <laughs> right. He finally did it. He finally, finally got there. Yeah. But you're going to help people remember that too. So as you're building a team, that's going to be an attribute that you can really help coach people through because it comes so naturally to you. See leadership skills. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's next. I'll go. Okay. I feel like I have the strength of the gift of hospitality. Awesome. So I like to make people feel special. I don't know if that's necessarily a skill though. Well, it's an attribute. It's, it's something, yeah, absolutely. It's something that when you can make people feel appreciated, I think that's a huge gift. And as a leader, we just need to get you a really big team so you can love all over them. Yeah. Right. I mean, yes. because that's, what's going to, what, my point to this is that because that's a natural strength of yours, when you do more of it, it's going to fill you up. And that will inc encourage you to step more into the, the workspace. You know what I mean? So it's, it's all right. those things are connected. So like that could be your motivation to go recruit team because you're like, I just need to go collect 10 people to go love on. Like, you know, <laughs> right? Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like inside of this umbrella kind of thing. That's right. awesome. What else, Buffy? I know you've got tons of gifts. Um, I'm glad you think so because I'm drawing a total blank. The only thing that came to mind was hospitality. I like to encourage. Um, yeah, that I'm so there, but I just volunteered because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and just say something. So, okay. All right. I'm not going to push you too far. That's thank you for stepping out and for sharing. But if you come, I want you to really open your mind to more things, things that come naturally, things that just kind of that are effortless that you can just step right into, you know, those are the things that those are the areas that were just, it's like the natural gift, right. That comes through. So my whole point in all this, I'll get to the end and kind of share that, but okay. Who's next for sake of time. I want to make sure I'm on time tonight. Ready to go? Yes, please. Okay. Um, I have a, only a few here, but one of them kind of is a bunch of things like sort of like a listener, um, prayerful, you know, like if it's, almost like a therapist sometimes, you know, like I, I can listen and maybe bring a positive 
thing or being a true friend. Um, you know, that was like one part of it. And then my other thing is like my cooking, my creativity. Something like Greta said, social media, um, pictures, stuff like that. I also want to add something. You are extraordinarily gifted around dates. You have like a very high um, uh, ability to remember things like, like the, I bet you know when my dad passed away in your head. Like I wouldn't even, you wouldn't even have to look it up. You probably already know. Like you can hold on to dates and memories and birth dates and stuff like they, that is a catalog inside of you. That is like a walk. I mean, honestly, like that's a skill that I don't possess. Like I admire it so much because you think about like, I would love to be in the habit of celebrating everybody's birthday on our team and like with like a handwritten note and have it all organized <laughs> at the beginning of the month or year or whatever, you know, and like do those kinds of things. But it would take me so much to get myself organized to get the information. Right. But I bet you probably have it all down. Right. Am I right? So that's something that you can use to play to your strengths, because if you applied that to like the birth dates of your children's health study people, mm -hmm. right. If you applied that to the anniversary date of your customers, like when they signed up or your team members, when they signed up, like see how people can feel so appreciated and that's such a natural gift for you. Right. Yeah. And you probably think sometimes like, oh gosh, this person didn't remember. Why didn't they remember? Right. But to other people, that's not, that's not something that comes naturally. It's really right. Danielle shaking her head. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so, but yeah, that's something you want to definitely write down. Thank okay. you for sharing. Awesome. All right. Can we get one more at least before we move on to mom? I'll okay, go. go ahead. Uh, oh, good. Going? We're going to have two. This is good. Okay. Jennifer first and then mom, you'll go right after. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, no, that's good. Your mom can go. You're good. Um, it is my birthday next Thursday, so Chris Ann, <laughs> put that in your brain. <laughs> I'm going to remember. Feel free to cook for me. <laughs> Whatever you'd like to do. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, I put that my strengths, um, I wrote sharing and caring, basically. So I'm still comes easy to me as sharing sharing stories that are going on in my life and also you know and now translating that into caring for other people mm -hmm. um i was right they're going to call this i think i sometimes care for other people more than i care for myself i've been told that many times by friends and family so i'm trying to uh care more about myself <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a little bit more, um, but just like caring for, for people, which um, is a strength. What else? I also put, um, I find it pretty easy to talk to people one-on-one on, on one. Um, and related to the business, I think I'm pretty good at, um, like I said, sharing my story, especially like li live um, in front of a, um, when I prepare it in front of a crowd or on those fa Facebook events, I've been getting some comments that that's a strength. So, and I would a hundred percent agree. Yeah. Um, in terms of enjoying, I wrote the exact same thing that Marie said and the helpers high. I enjoy when I see, um, people above me, um, you know, especially I enjoy when people, you know, above me, sideline or below me do well but especially if i contribute to that so if i help someone above me get promoted by doing by something i do helps them get promoted that makes me feel good um mm -hmm. if i see someone that's you know below me on the team have an accomplishment that makes me feel good so it's like a helper's high mm -hmm. and when you when you really have played a major role in a promotion you get to experience that like that's one of the things that I'm so glad you brought that up because it wasn't something that I planned to talk about tonight, but it really is such a big component to being part of a team. Like I think the biggest gift of me getting to NMD was to show other people that it could be done and to have you guys that were participated in that, like you got to witness it. You got to be a part of it. You got to feel the energy. Like I remember feeling when I first started this and said, I want to be an NMD. I was like, gosh, like I feel so cheated because I didn't get a chance to be part of Lisa's growth to the NMD, you know? So I didn't know what that felt like, but you guys know what it feels like. So when you know what something feels like, you can replicate that, right? Like that's such a gift to give somebody. 
it's, it's really special, but thank you, Jennifer, because yeah, I wrote down all those things. So what I heard you say, and I put this in my own language, but was connection with others. And I think that that's really when, and I think you were talking about it too, Marie, like when you feel very at ease with people, when you have that natural connection, part of that is what I wrote down for myself actually is vulnerability and intimacy. Like I have a, um, an ability to get very deep with people very quickly. And I don't know, it's probably a lot of my dad built in there, but I don't have a lot of layers to work through. And I think sometimes it confuses people because <laughs> they're kind of like, all right, where's the catch, right? Like, or like, where's the, right? And they're like, looking for it, looking for it. And I'm like, nope, just right here. <laughs> like, and I, you know, and that's, but that's that getting to that space in your, that comfort level in your own skin is such a huge, huge gift. So if you're doing personal development, be thinking about that concept. Because when, and you listen, you're more vulnerable to get hurt. Yeah, because you're open. But when you're open like that, you can receive so much more too, right? Um, all right, thank you so much for sharing. That was awesome. Um, Danielle, I'm gonna pick on you because I can pick on you. Because <laughs> you can pick on me? Yeah. Um, yeah, I am one of those processors. So if you give me like a few hours and I dive into this a little more, I'll have way better answers than <laughs> the scratch I wrote down. Um, but some strengths that I know I do exhibit that are, like some have already said of themselves, but we probably get along. A good listener. Um, I'm very detail oriented. I can very much see the big picture of things. I can also very easily see other people's perspectives and point of views. Um, I am very organized. I am very good at logistics. I am really good at problem solving. I am very good at thinking under pressure mm -hmm. um, and not frazzled easily at all. Um, all of those things have served me very well in various careers and jobs and this business too. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm sure I have many other skills, but again, when you give me two minutes to answer a question, that is not <laughs> one of my skills. <laughs> but I want to point something out. You had the longest list of everybody and you have the highest rank of everybody. And the reason I say that is not because she has more skills than anybody else that's on this call, but because she's aware of it. Okay. When you're aware of your strengths, you can put them to use. Does that make sense? That's yes. why this exercise is so important. You've got to get good at knowing like, where are my strengths? How do I play to those, right? Like play to your strengths to overcome the weaknesses. Mom, I knew you were gonna, um, are you done Danielle? Sorry, thank yeah. you. That was a great list, yeah. And you're right, everything is applicable, all of it. The pressure thing, pressure is huge, you guys. If you don't know how to deal well under pressure, go find it, go find excuses to, I don't know, jump out of an airplane or do something like do these things that are going to really test that inside of yourself and get comfortable with that being uncomfortable because that's the thing that you need. Cause even in all aspects of leadership, you're going to come up against hard conversations. How are you going to deal with those? If you don't know how to deal with pressure, right? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not always the things that you expect them to be that catch you. It's the other ones, but you have to know how to get through it. Right. And just have that confidence and that experience to do so. All right, mom, go for it. Okay, um, I, I also have the analysis of problems and problem solving. That's one of my strengths. And I've done that throughout my career. Um, curiosity and a willingness to try new things. I love variety and delving into new experiences. Um, relating to peop other people, I keep friendships for a very long time and that's a, a loyalty and loyalty thing with me and um perseverance so and resilience oh how could i forget that <laughs> that's been tested quite a bit hasn't it <laughs> well and that's that goes like here's the deal when we're making decisions about this business if you guys are really in tune with if you're committed this is a lifelong journey, right? This isn't something that we're going to like, when people, when I really sit and think about retirement, I'm like, oh, how boring. <laughs> like, truly, because like when you love the work you do, right, it doesn't feel like you're working, right? You're just living and you get paid for it. And it's pretty cool. So getting to that space. So yeah, I mean, the, that perseverance piece and the resilience and the loyalty, all of those, you'll hear every business coach that ever talks, they say long-term relationships equal long-term profits right? If 
utilized, right? <laughs> but people trust you and that's why they stick around. That's awesome, mom. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, does anybody else wanna share before we move on to the next one? I wanna give everybody a chance. And there are two phone numbers that popped on that I don't recognize, but I wanted to just say hello. Uh, well, hi, this is Lori. Hi, Jingle. Lori. Hi. Hi, I haven't been on in a long time, so. Well, welcome I'm back. We're happy to have you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. So I'm just kind of like, you know, reacquainting myself and listening. So hi, everybody. Nice, it's nice to hear everybody's um, input. Um, Did you want so to participate? Or do you want to just listen? Well, I, well, I can say one of my one of my things, I, you know, it's like I'm kind of like Danielle. If I had more time, I could really, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of process and, and have better answers. But one thing that I feel that I possess and it, it's like served me throughout different different careers and different jobs is that I'm a good I'm good at like kind of leading. Like if I take someone under my wing and I want to see them achieve. So I'm good at, I'm good at that. I'm very like understanding and I'm very patient. So if I, you know, and if I really believe in something and I take someone into it, it you know, I'll see them through the whole way. As well, long as I, they show me that, you know, I love that, that they care and they want to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm good at that. Well, That's and one thing that I can think of right now. So I'm going to give you the same advice I gave to Buffy, right? So she had the hospitality piece of really making people feel appreciated and, and all that. I would say the same thing to you. If, if you have a natural affinity towards seeing people through a process, then this business mm -hmm. is going to be beautiful for you if you build a team, right? right. Like that team mm -hmm. piece is going to be so extremely rewarding for you. And that should be something that you want to highlight in your thinking of like, okay, who can I, like, let's really do this. Let's go recruit like five people, bring them on in and walk them through with this process. And, you know, out of responsibility, you're really going to need to go through the process yourself. Right. Right. To learn it as well. You might be inspired more. If you were to say like, I'm going to restart my business today and I'm going to bring five people right. along with me or three people to get started. Right. right. And like, let's go do this together. I'm looking for some buddies, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So just maybe be thinking about that, you know, in yes, this week as we head into September. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And there I'm, couldn't be a better mm -hmm. place to bring them than to Austin. So I'm going to plug that again because <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> an amazing conference. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, yeah. um, okay. Is that everybody? Hi, it's me, Vaughn. I didn't want to just uh, hi, be Vaughn. on. I, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I just haven't, a, I'm good, thank you. I just was able to pop on. It was a long day, having late dinner, so I hope I'm not, nope, I don't sound you're, like two weeks, but um, you're, you're totally I'm welcome. Do you want to hop in and answer the question? Thank you. Well, I've been listening more, and that's one of my assets is learning how to listen more so then I could then, um, deliver so i'm happy to listen and not disengaging instead i'm going to stay connected so down the road i will definitely participate more okay i love it when you're ready we're ready how about that <laughs> i know that i know that i really appreciate that yes so awesome. um i thought it was important to plug in and listen to learn mm -hmm. very good all right, so we're going to go, um, let's do speed round dating on this next one, okay? We have a chat here that you can um, put an answer in for everybody to see. So this will be kind of fun. We can watch all the chats come up here. So for the second question we had, because we're at 630, so I'm going to kind of go through this quickly, and then I'll wrap it up in a bow at the end. Um, now, what are some of the areas that you'd like to improve upon? Areas that you'd benefit from some coaching or maybe more opportunity for practice? Okay, type those puppies in there and if you are on the phone and you want to participate then just um, shout them out so you, can't, you can't type it through your phone there's no way to type a chat I think there is if you go down if you want to just I'm gonna write them down in a, in a list though Jennifer if you want to 
Jim B. And I'm going to read through these in a second. In fact, I'm just going to take a picture so I don't lose it. Okay. Okay, so Chrisanne says um, numbers, paperwork, and or paperwork skills. Marie says inviting to team. Okay, that's good. Starting up a new team member from Gen B. Taking that extra step when JP becomes a part of the conversation. How to bring um, bring it to a point of actually asking or inviting. Sometimes it just gets stuck. That's really good, Greta. Okay. I'm sharing the product with others. Customer care. Okay. And just so you guys know, I am going to take pictures of these because I feel like this is going to be our blueprint for our future calls here. Um, creating a team, third party calling follow through from Lisa. Okay. I think, do you mean the three way calls, Lisa? Is that what you meant? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's big. Okay. And then Buffy asking qualifying questions to invite into this experience. Okay. Um, okay, these are good. Is there anything else that anybody wants to add verbally or add into the mix here? Just sticking to a daily mode, a daily routine. Okay. I'm hearing consistency. All right, um, making better use of your upline. Lisa, that's, that's excellent. I love you guys, but I never talk to you. And that, and you know, listen, I'm gonna say this just because I have to say it as a, a responsible leader. We get in our own modes and, and we really respond to the people who are calling us. So if you identify that as something that you need to get better at, like you need to reach out, establish communication and a, a regular habit of it, right? So I've invited probably everybody on this phone, use me on Voxer, like you, you should be boxing every, if you have a goal, you should be boxing somebody every day. <laughs> like you wanna be touching it every day. It's the touch, it's the that's what yep. moves these things forward. But I love that you wrote that down. Um, Okay. All right. These are all really good, you guys. Okay. So, um, okay. And then the third question, okay. And then we're going to wrap it up. Um, is there an area or task that maybe you do very well, but that you'd really appreciate a break from something that you've maybe like, you know, that we lean on you too much for, I don't like to use the word too much, but and I don't know that that really applies to this particular conversation too much, except for poor Danielle who runs the shred every single month for the last 10 years. But, <laughs> but I have to thank everybody who's stepping up to help her and support in that because you guys are, it's important that we give her a break and it's important that somebody else takes the lead. And I would always like kind of want to like assign somebody for like three months, like a three month stretch. Right. So that we know it's happening consistently. Mm -hmm. um, and she took that on because I couldn't get to it if I'm being really honest, you know? And so, Marie, are you volunteering? So this Facebook event that we just had was the bomb. It yep. was so mad at myself that I didn't invite more people. It, the whole thing was excellent. We need to do it again. I think we should do it in December, right before everybody like needs yes. a new year's thingamajiggy. And I will totally run that. Yay! Okay, done. It's on record. <laughs> Thank you. And you know what, Marie, you have really stepped into this and you like you, the first one you were like, I don't know how to do this. You worked it out. You figured it out. You did great. And then the next one you had more confidence and then you stepped in again. You see how that works, you guys. So it is really a process of like trying, like, you know, we teach and then we practice and then we, we do it again. Okay. So, um, okay. It was, I don't want to miss anybody. Was there anything else? Did I cover that? Well, Danielle, I had to volunteer the information, but okay. Um, all right. So next week we have um, a special guest. Kimberly Warlow is coming onto our call. <laughs> she is an incredible leader in our business. I believe she's a hundred club. Um, she is going to come on and teach us about team culture. 
And the reason I wanted to do this tonight was to make sure that you guys recognize that you bring value to this team as you are, right? Like you bring value, you have skills. We all have skills. I mean, we have, you know, a, a huge organization on our roster and we are not utilizing nearly as much, but if we get in the habit and this starts with us, it starts with like really taking that self inventory and saying, where do I play? Like, how can I play to my strengths? What are those areas to begin with? Right. And then starting to utilize that into the business and work with us as your upline to help. It doesn't have to be me directly, but work with some of us, you know, to find ways where we can showcase that. Okay. In an event or, you know, a team gathering or something, right. So that everybody feels valued because what happens is when you're engaging in something like this and you get the opportunity to play in that really awesome boss space, like everyone's going to benefit from it. People are going to fill in the gaps where there's weaknesses in other areas. You know, Danielle, one of the reasons that we work so well together is we do that for each other. You know, it's like we kind of fill the, the holes and it's great. Like there's, it, I never have to worry about being exposed, you know, about a lack of whatever, because I know that she's got a strength in that spot that she can step in. So it's a, it's first you start with yourself, then you align yourself with a buddy that compliments, right? And then you guys can build something super special. And that's what we're working on doing right now. So as we step into these next phases of this business, it's going to be really important for you guys to just, you know, to develop as a leader, to start with that one place. So spend some more time on it this week. If anything comes up that I, I would love, don't feel like you're bragging. This is a real like challenge area for a lot of women that we've been taught to be so modest that it's hard to think about the good things about ourselves. Right. And like, this is where, you know, just think of it more as that exercise in leadership. What are you going to build? How are you going to build it? You're going to use your strengths and how are you going to attract people? You know, if you let your strengths shine, you're going to give permission for other people to do the same. It's one of my favorite quotes of all time. Marion Williamson, I think it is. So anyway, with that, Thank you for coming on tonight. Get excited for next week. It's going to be an awesome call. Make sure all of your team are on because we're going to want to give her a nice big audience. And it's, uh, if there's anything in particular surrounding team culture that you have curiosity in or that you want, you know, addressed or whatever, make sure you get that to me ASAP on Voxer and I will roll all that up to her. And with that, I love you all. Bye. Thank you so night. much. So excited Bye. for next week. That is so <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night.